Hi, Jesse Moore, Payne Street Properties, Dennis Pierce, Pickett Street. Jesse, and, yes. Jesse, you've got uh, something kind of a little different. Actually, you were just telling me about this a little bit ago. You've got an approval on, you said on the state bond program short sale? Yeah, so if I yawn, I'm still, I still have jet lagged. I'm still jet lagged. I, I was three hours different until a couple days ago. Um, so essentially, yeah, I, I mean, we always, we always say there's something, every short sale is unique. It's like a fingerprint, you know, you, yeah. just, you just don't run into one that's just exactly like the other one. Right. And so, but I, I do have a truly unique one because um, in Washington state, we have a federal, we have a program, a state program that essentially gifts down payment assistance to first time home buyers. Mm -hmm. And there's several different programs, but the most popular of those is called the key the house key, house key program. program. And um, so basically what they do is it's a state bond program. So it's money borrowed from the state, right. against the state. And they brought, you're allowed to borrow, and I'm not an expert on this, but you know, generally it's about 3% up to $10,000 um, for a down payment. For So someone who doesn't have much money, it gives them the money to make a down payment on the home and become a homeowner. Right. Now that money's not free. They have to pay that money off. And so it's filed as a lien against the property. And so if every in a normal world where uh, homes appreciate, that's yeah. not it wasn't much of a concern. And it was a great way to borrow. Um, it was a great way for people that couldn't afford a home to get into homes. Yeah. How do you get into this scenario? <laughs> How do you get into this downward trending market? Oh wait, putting people in homes that couldn't afford, afford the homes. Yeah. So the reality of that situation, the reality of that now is that people that bought houses using that house key program um, are now, many of them are in a position where they need a short sale. And so I went to a mortgage broker who is licensed to um, lend on the state bond program and uh, she had told me at the time when I was getting this listing that the state bond program had to be paid in full. So whatever funds they got from the state to make that down payment would have to be paid back in full. Mm -hmm. So let's say that's ten thousand dollars, and that that bond and that you know it was issued five years ago. Right. They may have only paid it down. Maybe a thousand. Maybe three thousand tops. Yeah. And so they just haven't paid it down much, and so now you're you're going to be asking essentially uh, first position lien holder to give a junior position lien holder nine thousand dollars. Eight thousand dollars. Most of them will a lot, maybe six thousand if you're lucky. At the top end, and right. more like three thousand right. on the realistic side. And so knowing that, I've been working this file and I just got an approval. And interestingly enough, what I did find out is that Washington State Housing Committee, Washington State Housing, housing Commission, Commission mm -hmm. will accept a short payoff. So I, basically what I want to explain to our, our viewers out there is that if you have a house key or state bond uh, lien on your property and you're in a position where you need to short sale, the good news is, is that you may not have to pay off that state bond in full. That the state bond can be paid in part and in this, what actually happened is I asked, I was pushing the whole way for the state bond to be paid in full and honestly, Dennis, it was only 3200 bucks. It right? was not a lot of money. Yeah. But the reality is, is that the first position lien holder, they have a policy where they only pay 6% of the, mm -hmm. 6 or 8 or 10% of the junior lien okay. balance. Wow. Well, if they're only owed $3,200, that means that the junior lien was only getting like 200 bucks, right. 200 and change. And I said, that's not going to work. And the first said, well, uh, actually, we service the, this program for the state of Washington. Mm -hmm. And so we it's within our guidelines to ask for a short payoff. And I said, okay. And two days later, they had a short payoff approved by the state of Washington. And that, and that servicer again, was that was B of A? Bank of America. And so I don't know, I think B of A services, I uh, serviced a lot of these up until, I think right. they just stopped doing it like six months ago. Mm -hmm. And so most of these will be Bank of America serviced um, loans. And the good news is, is that uh, we get approvals on Bank of America files pretty regularly. Right. And now the good news is, is that if you have a Washington State bond lien on your house, um, it does not make a short sale any more difficult than any other short sale. So I think that's good news. I think that's exceptional news. Um, I'm sure there are folks out there in, in that similar, same or similar position that yeah. are going to be looking for help.
And so if you hear, and the problem is, is they're probably all going to their mortgage brokers who help them get that assistance. Right. And they're being told that they can't do it. Their information is is that that bond program has to be paid in full, and the reality is is that it doesn't. And I have a living, breathing example of that. So that's our news for today. Is that the Washington State, um, what I say, housing housing commission commission. <laughs> Uh, they're the ones that um, regulate and, and monitor these loan programs, uh, these state bond loan programs, and now they are fully compliant for the short sale process. So I think that's encouraging news, and I, I hope if you're watching this and you have a state bond, you'll reach out to us and let us tell you more about this in person. There you go. House Key Loans will help you take care of them. Thank you. Thank you.